Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through example in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be looking at Map Into. Map Into will allow you to take each of the items inside a collection and cast them into a class. So to show you this, I'm going to create a new class from scratch and I'm just going to write it down here. So we'll call it class converter. Now the idea is that we have this converter class that will convert from inches to centimeters. It's a very simple example, but it will get the point across. Over in our constructor, we'll accept amount. Let me initialize those fields. And then we'll have a simple public function with the name of two centimeters. So the conversion from inches to centimeters is times 2.54. So I'm going to return this amount times 2.54. So that's the very simple conversion of inches into centimeters. So this class here is a very simple example. Obviously, this would normally not be in the same file. I'm simply showing you this in the same file just for the sake of an example. We'll get our data equals collect. And inside here, we'll have one, two, three, and four. And then we'll return data map into, and we'll simply call the converter class at this point. And let's take a look at the results. So you see that we have a new collection and it has four items in it. And each one is an app converter. Now, if we needed to call this two centimeters on each one of these, we can actually use map at that point. So we'll say map and pass in a callback with item. So each item will have to call that method on. So we will return item two centimeters. And let's check out the results. And so there you go. We've been able to cast each one of the entries inside this collection into a converter class. And then we've been able to call that two centimeters on each one of those. A great use for this method is when you have a class that's dedicated to a particular set of data. So you can simply map it into this class. And from there on out, you can call your own custom methods. Now, one last thing I do want to show you is that map into returns a new collection. So if we were to actually return data, what do you expect the results to be? Well, as I said before, it returns a totally new collection. So data is not overwritten. Data still contains our original collection with the digits one, two, three, four. Now, if you needed to capture the results of map into, you can simply save it in a new variable and we'll say new collection equals that. And then we're going to return new collection instead of returning data, new collection. Let's check out the results. And there you go. We're back to our centimeter converted collection. So keep that in mind whenever you're using map into.